so those are good so this is perfect so make sure you choose powerball accept make sure you change this template to be powerball okay so this is powerball okay all right so you start the calculation so this is your first step so after you generate after you have the file you send it to your machine but now we have to generate second step for angle channels so this is where people struggle so i'm going to save it and i don't want to lose this file so you save copy of project okay and this one is 25 millimeter mmt test so I have MMT test, so I'm going to make copy of this. And then I paste it. So I have a uh, exact copy. All right, so I'm going to open that copy file. So now I have two. Okay, so open copy file. So we have to pay attention in here. All right, so first, delete all the user defines so you can just click and then select delete or you click control click oops control click oops click and delete all the existing user defined so that's the first step the second step is delete all the screw channel all the angle screw channels only. You're not deleting regular channels. You want to keep all the regular channels. So now we have to do user define. Okay. So I am going to. So see, like if you're like this, then you cannot see the left side of it, right? You basically want to rotate in a direction where you can see the whole screw sitting area. So if it's like this, then I cannot see it, right? If I'm like this, I cannot see it. So this is fairly easy uh, angled. So I just want to make it straight. Okay. And then I click here, here, here. And then bring it to the edge of it enough to circle all right so basically by accepting here i'm milling at this angle okay so what i'm trying to do is i call this like a little bit darker area i call it shadow so you want to get rid of the shadow so now i have the full circle which i can actually mill Okay, so next. So that was fairly easy uh, channel. I think this one too, fairly easy too. If you want to have more user defines, that doesn't hurt. See, I'm trying to get rid of this shadow. So let's see. All right, so this is fairly okay. So click, click, click. If the user define uh, if the channel is has a very stiff angle then we might have to uh, draw user define several times like I sometimes I draw about three four times okay so this is good so like this one yeah see like it's totally different so my first user define will be at this angle just to be able to get rid of the shadow from here like this all right so this is one and then i want to get i want to see but after like this I still want to mill in this direction too just to just to get these areas good like I want to have say like from looking at this I know I'm gonna mill this area good 
I'm gonna mill this area good. But I wanna mill this area good too. See like here, I can see here. So I wanna mill like this area good too. Like, so my focus is on here, this area. Hey, you don't have to actually the whole thing, but I want to have like this. All right. Okay. And then I want to have this area to come out good. So I want to tilt like this. So the whole goal is having the sitting area to come out very successfully. So like this. And then this area now, right? So like, 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 like this, maybe. Right. Okay, so go back to identify part features and you want to check if your angulations are all okay. So this one 9.9, .9, perfect. 15.1, perfect. 13.3, perfect. 15.0, perfect. 8.6, perfect. 23.1, perfect. So all the angles are very good. So we're going to select template and choose angle screw channel only. So accept it and make sure it's changing angled. Then this will be your second step file. The reason why we're doing first and second so that uh, it, it'll mill those angle channels. Make sure you don't move this file or rotate them. Otherwise, it'll not going to have in the exactly same position so as a result it'll just drill out some unknown area so make sure you don't rotate them so also click save and calculate for the second step and next video i'll go over a little bit more uh, tip and tricks for some of the challenging cases uh, such as larger boundary or greater angle. So uh, please watch the next video as well too. Thank you.